Uh, today I want to give a hot take on a cold topic. Um, the topic is uh, Antifa and the Proud Boys. All this business that happened uh, over the last two years during the end of the Trump presidency. And I want to do this in the context of a uh, of a video uh, about uh, basically showing off like uh, some propaganda that I made, like a propaganda campaign. So this is the project that I did. It's called uh, something like Antifa. I wanted to sort of um, find like a, a humorous or a romantic uh, sort of portrayal between like established authority and uh, Antifa and or uh, with uh, you know uh, Antifa and their proud boy compatriot uh, oppo opposition right um, <clears throat> the uh, the basis of this sort of like desire of mine had to do with um, just like me hand-wringing, you know, about, uh, like, w blood, basically, like, and violence, because, uh, there is a certain type of violence that is more in, um, it's a form of possession people sort of get into, and it's sort of like, uh, you have, like, some liberals inside of their city, uh, Portland, with, like, an echo chamber about how, like, you know, uh, they're ideologically correct and, like, uh, self-righteous about that, and these, uh, views are held in response, like, very legitimate response to, like, a rise in the right of, like, you know, uh, racism, uh, police brutality, uh, basically, like, the killing of, uh, black, uh, Americans, um, uh, just, like, uh, you know, camps down in, like, uh, like, was this, like, immigration places where they're keeping, like, kids in cages, that whole thing, like, uh, the militarization, uh, of the, uh, of of these places, like, in terms of, like, later on in the Trump presidency, like, him pushing, um, you know, uh, him pushing, like, uh, unbadged, uh, agents to go in and, like, uh, throw people inside of vans in order to preemptively pre pre prevent, like, Antifa, like, aggressors from, like, taking action, like, all this stuff, like, uh, you have the burning of the police station, like, uh, you've got mass looting, like, uh, all of this sort of, like, tit for tat in what became, like, sort of like a, like, a very minor, like, civil war that, like, thank God was, like, dissipated to an extent by the election of, like, a democratic president, like, you know. Uh, whatever your political beliefs are in terms of if you're like some kind of moderate Republican or if you're some sort of liberal, like, I, I think it's, um, I think the moderate position, right, is that, uh, you know, not having, uh, people fighting in the streets is probably a good thing, right? Like, like some semblance of like, uh, order and cohesion is, like, probably a good thing, and, uh, this, uh, all of this, all this stuff, there's a, there's a counter-narrative on the liberal side that's about, that's, like, rooted in anger, and it's basically, like, this, uh, you know, you have, uh, you're a, you're a coward, basically, because, like, your position is that you want to maintain the status quo and this and that, like, uh, and then what they do in response is they just escalate, you know, and, and it's actually like, it's actually like a, a small group of intelligent organizers who are like sort of like manipulating like people into like ideologically pursuing the agendas that they're interested in. And this I think is happening on, on, uh, both sides as it were, uh, and it's like, uh, 
eventually it did escalate. I'm pretty sure the alt the alt right uh, ended up coming out and like causing like homicides with like in terms of like shootings and targeting of like I, I think they were targeting like Islamic churches. Uh, there is just like uh, unhinged fucking unhinged people like uh, enacting violence. You know they've got like all it's like all of my guns at home and like uh, you know. I'm gonna get out there and show them, and then even at the Capitol, right? Like the the like who was storming the Capitol? It wasn't like Antifa storming the Capitol, right? And like threatening the lives of like you know government people. It was actually like Trump's own people doing that, and it's just like, and they thought they were having a revolution the whole time. These people are unhinged, dude. Like, uh, and and the whole thing of like you're gonna get out there with your buddies that you had a few PBRs with, and like you know, fight the man or something, it's like, that's what the attitude was, was like back in, like, 2019, you know, and then, like, it escalated and escalated and escalated, and then you, and then you just get this situation that's like, uh, you know, uh, like, you know, the Middle East, like, well, they did this to us, and so we're gonna do that to them, that type of situation, and it's like, you know, uh, point made with, like, Black Lives Matter and, like, the burning down of that police station, like, yeah, they, they listened to you after that, that's for sure. But, like, what have they done since then, you know? And and the whole thing is, like, my whole criticisms here is basically, like, number one, if you think that there's, like, some kind of political agenda that you're going to be able to, like, exercise that's, like, violent, you know? Like, you better think long and hard about, like, how you're going to enact that. Because, like, <clears throat> like, like, common strategy says like do not attack people that have more arms than you you know like do not engage violently with like with a, an entrenched force over an extended period of time you're gonna lose you know like <clears throat> that's like Sun Tzu you know what I'm saying that's that's the art of war like <clears throat> we have all these like jackasses like, uninformed, emotionally driven jackasses who are, like, you know, raging against the machine and whatnot of their, like, liberal fantasies while, like, you know, uh, <clears throat> while people are fucking showing up at these places with, like, that Kyle Rittenhouse dude. Like, showing up with weapons, fucking shooting people. Like, you know, and, and yeah, you did have Antifa, like, in that, in that situation, that dude, uh, not Antifa, but some, you know, some radicalized left, like, type person pulling out a gun, like a handgun, and then he gets shot. Like, all this other shit, like, there's just, it's just sort of like, what kind of world do you want to live in, you know? Like, it's not a, <clears throat> if you want to live in a violent world, like, you know, I don't need to judge you, that's fine. But, like, you can execute your violence with more intelligence, you know? And, like, if you want to live in a, a non-violent world, then, like, you know, like, uh, sorry, that's not going to happen. We live in a fucking, like, uh, you know, tyrannical police state and all that other shit. And, like, uh, yeah, they're going to abuse the shit out of, like, uh, you know, black people. And, like, yeah, they're going to take kids at the border. And, like, uh, apart from, like, a general strike, you know, like an, like an entire anarchic general strike. Like, what are you going to do about that? Nothing, dude. You're going to do nothing because, like, because uh, these people, uh, like, because these people can show up in a fucking van and put you and your friends in there, and then you, you don't have anything to, like, and, and then in, indefinitely, like, hold you. Put you in fucking Guantanamo. Like, I know we're, I know we escalated a bit there. This is supposed to be about like a propaganda project. I understand, but like, anyways, that was my point. I was like, look, man, on a very fundamental level, I want to be sharing this idea of like Sun Tzu and intelligent like organization. And number two, let's fucking like lighten this shit up a bit because like, I don't want to, I don't want to like. Because I don't, I don't want to, like, hang out with people who are, like, there's, you can tell, there's a, there's a type of, like, there's a type of protester who's just about, like, like, burning shit. Who's just about, like, starting this thing. There's a type of, like, 
There's, there's a type of uh, character, personality, who just wants to see disorder happen. Like, and, and, and like, this sort of thing is like, uh, the Joker came out right at the same time, you know, like, uh, you've got, like, these, all these instances of looting that happen, like, a whole bunch of, like, not a whole bunch, but, like, I saw a significant amount of, like, black business owners, right, having their shops vandalized because some shithead, like, you know, liberal Antifa, like, you know, uh, white guy, wh whoever, right, a white guy and his fucking girlfriend is, like, cheering him on to fight against the man and they're doing the whole, like, machismo thing, like, this shit, like, ended up fucking up these people's businesses, like, because they're rage, because, you know, because they're ideologically, like, it's like, look, my identity is wrapped up in my rebellion, like, <clears throat> you get what I'm saying? Like, that's not fucking intelligent, like, uh, rebellion. That's not a good way of doing things. That's a, that's an emotionally driven, narcissistic, like, uh, path toward, like, you know, hurting your community, like, hurting the people that are around you. Like, that's not constructive, you're not building anything, like, 